Good morning, we daily vlogs. So if you enjoy today's video, make sure you come back every day forever. Did we oversleep? Yes. Is it eight o'clock? Yes. Am I still going on my run? Yes. Am I mentally ready for it? No. I really hope this is just a really bad case of like rust. I think I've talked about it before, but like sometimes just for me, the first like two miles are just like awful. Awful. It doesn't matter how good I'm feeling or bad I'm feeling, just they're awful. And then it's like cruising. So I'm hoping today is like that. Because if I feel like this, the whole 18 miles is going to be a rough, rough run. Um, best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. So you should just sing Christmas songs. Maybe I should just do this, sing Christmas songs. Um, I've got sweatshirt, gloves, music, got my goose. I already had my Martin's drink and I had my caffeinated Martin's gel. So at this point I can't not run because I'm too, I got too much going on. Anyway, let's get at it. Such a good girl, Evie. We <laughs> isn't she cute? She's not so sure about him still, but we're we're getting there. And he's he's like more aware and more gentle. So hopefully they'll be best of friends soon. So yesterday we ended up not going to the Chris Kindle market because of the cold weather and we knew that we would go another time with Christina Grant and the kids. Um, but it actually ended up working out that today is going to be much warmer and so it's actually Christina Grant's wedding anniversary and so we are babysitting the kids tonight while they go out to dinner. God bless you. Bless you. <laughs> We're gonna go to the Chris Kindle Market all together beforehand. Come here, Evers. So it's nice. It was only one day later than we expected to go. And like I said, it's gonna be like in the 40s today, which is much nicer than the 20s. Got your water. I'm gonna start getting Jamesy ready to go. Um, and I just wanted to show if his initial outfit looks silly, it's just because these are like um, underneath his clothes, like warm weather. We didn't have to do this when he was tiny living in Florida because it never got this cold. But if at first he looks a little bit silly, it's just because it's like his thermal wear underneath his clothes um, that he's gonna be wearing around the house for a little bit. <laughs> you love that Christmas tree? All right, not my most smooth run so far. I am eight miles in, I'm almost at a turnaround point, uh, but the running gods are playing games with me today. I kind of told you guys before I started this, I was feeling the rust. It took about three miles for a light headache I had and the rust to fall off the legs. Started getting in a groove and then about two miles later at mile five, I had to go pee so bad. And it's winter in Chicago, so all of the lakefront restrooms are all locked for the season, but then, the running gods said, we've messed with you enough. I give you a turkey trot over here in Grant Park. So I ended up actually running like, like almost basically a 5K within a turkey trot. There were people, volunteers cheering me on. I had no bib, but it was just like an open path, part of the lakefront. So it's like, okay, I made sure I didn't go across the finish line, but I definitely could have. And then right there, I knew once I saw the turkey trot, I'm like, they are gonna have porta potties at the end of this race. So thank you, Turkey Trot, for letting me uh, utilize your services. Looks like a good run. I almost signed up for it, but I actually didn't think it was happening in person this year. Anyway, gotta have another Martin's goo and then run one more mile. I kind of messed up my path coming this way, figure out how I want to run another mile and then turn around to go home for the 18. Many hours later, I'm home. I survived my run. Jamesy got this really cute hat. But he has an enormous cranium. It like matches his sweater. Okay, how normal does it have my sweater though? Yeah. The sweater, he'll be able to wear the sweater, but I was hopeful he'd wear this today. 
It doesn't cover his ears. It, it would cut off the circulation of his brain. We're heading to the Chris Kendall Market, though, to meet Christina and Grant and the kids. What do you got on? Jamesy. Oh, Jamesy. Oh, Jamesy. Who do you? <laughs> James got a new Mickey hat on. And Mickey gloves. Oh, yeah. And he knows he looks cute. Chris Kendall Market Daily Plaza. Yes. Second time here, fourth Chris Kendall Market overall. Awesome. Super we, long line. Yeah, so it was a 15 minute line just to get in, but inside looks much less crowded than yeah. the opening night. So hopefully this is like a good An indicator. A good like in between. Like I'd rather wait in this line for a little bit and enjoy inside. Because right, the other night it was. Oh, <laughs> Look what we were greeted with. All right, Grant found the secret beer tents with basically no line next to the coffee place that has no line. So this is much better than the other day. I need a bratwurst tonight, too. I need everything. What's up, dude? What's up, dude? You look like a 1920s American football player. Do I, no, do I, do I look more like Christopher or do I look like, uh, yoo-hoo, yoo-hoo. Okay. Okay. What kind of beer did you get? Uh, a dark and a filter. Very chocolate basic drink. I got chocolate covered pineapple. And now we're headed over to the shops that we didn't look at an opening night. Ah! Ah! You see Krampus? Thank you. Bacon. Our favorite baked cheese samples. We got our favorite baked cheese. We got jalapeno and garlic. We're so happy that they're back because we had talked to them before and they make most of their revenue at this market so not having a market last year we were worried that they weren't going to make it through the pandemic and so when we saw them we were like thank goodness we saw all these pigeons and james freaked out so we left chris kendall market we're gonna go heat up in block 37 check out anthropology christmas and then go check out the famous macy's windows of the year marshall fields, marshall fields. all right before we go see the windows this is what we're doing. We're checking out anthropology to warm up a little bit. Kids were getting cold to see their Christmas decor, Christmas outfits, and to me, get a, a sense of Disney Springs because anthropology to me smells like Disney Springs. When I'm here, when I'm there, it smells like Chicago to me. It's so weird. I had to take him out because he was breaking dad's back. You having fun? You're loving your new mittens. You've had the hiccups. I think you inhaled a pretzel. You're so cute. <laughs> Let's go see if we can find anything for Mama. Now after the Macy's windows, we come into Macy's to enjoy the festivities and look around. Maybe head up to Starbucks. But our friends had to go over here to the the door because we have a stroller. Last stop of this trip is to see the great tree at the Walnut. Look at this, so gorgeous. Sarah and I actually have a reservation. Tiptoe is over there. You see Tiptoe? Oh, tiptoe. So today is actually Christina and Grant's wedding anniversary. I officiated that wedding because they're awesome and they let me. Um, so they're going out to dinner, so we're actually babysitting Luca and Violet. Sarah is gonna drive with them to pick up 
this little guy's outfit for tomorrow, tree cutting down, and then drop off the kids to the apartment. So me and Jamesy boy here are gonna take the train, the subway together. So he got a bottle, we're all situated. Just taking the escalator down to the, the basement because they actually have the red line um, CTA comes through the basement of Marshall Fields. All right, here's a sign of how much of a difference taking the subway matters in the city. And I assume this is relatively accurate for most big cities. I left Sarah and company at Marshall Fields, AKA Macy's. I went to the bottom of the building, went on the red line. Luckily we got very lucky, he's asleep. Eyes are open, but that's a sleeping baby. Um, we got lucky, we only waited like a minute for a subway. I'm already off on our stop in our neighborhood. About to go to Target to pick up a few necessities because we actually ran out of toilet paper. And a few things. I might look at like some pizza rolls. We gotta feed the babies that we're babysitting tonight. Uh, but Christina, Grant, Sarah, and kids are just passing the Berg off down in the loop in the car. So they have to hop on, make sure drive and still drive all the way north here. So I, if I wasn't, they might tie me with me going to Target and grabbing a few things, I honestly think I might beat them. Oh. I'm not gonna show you the exact street because that would be too much, but uh, I actually, James and I beat them back to the apartment after stopping at Target. That's how long uh, sometimes it takes to drive and why the subway rocks, but I'm actually calling Dibs, which is like a no-no, but not a no-no in Chicago. It's more of a no-no when there's like a bunch of snow but uh, this is a really, really good spot. So James and I are kind of holding the fort down, holding the fort down. Bye. Oh gosh, until they're, they're like a few blocks away. We are home and look at this. <laughs> they got delivered today. Have you seen these before? Look at them. Peter, do you see this? Yeah, yeah. they're the best thing. We're gonna watch the office all night. I think I mentioned this earlier that it's Christina and Grant's wedding anniversary. Comment below if you remember their wedding vlog. I'll link it up top if you want to see it. Peter, um, Peter was their officiant. And it was a lovely day. So they're going out to Carnival, which I've never been. But I know it's really good, so I'm excited for them. And we are going to watch their kids. All right, Christina and Grant left to go have the anniversary dinner at Carnival. And we have some pizza that is ready to come out. I just did some French braiding and... Vivi's hair. I've been waiting to do this for so long, Vives. Your hair is so long. She watches this YouTube. It's like Roblox. I have no idea what it is. Roblox? Yeah, what is it? Roblox. What is it? What do you do? Just go around and play? James, where'd you go? Jamesy, oh. where are you? <gasps> I think I see something over there. Yeah. Big a boo! Yeah. 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 Here right you there. are. <laughs> He's Love and Polar Express. Love and Polar Express, so good at peek doing it like that. Oh, oh no. The night has come to a calm. I just put James down. I'm having some weird, exhausting pain in my hip flexors. I don't know if it's like a result of being fatigued from the Sarah's just the row machine at Orange Theory or just using my muscles differently this past week with those two classes so far, but I've never had a soreness like this even post a marathon. It's strange, but I'm glad I got out there. It felt good to get out there. It felt great the whole run, except after all halfway point um so i'm excited to see where my training takes me as we get ready for not just dopey but princess and what's after with the squamish 50 50. everybody's being snuggle bug tomorrow we cut down christmas trees yeah and this is a big one that we went without last year. Like, one of our favorite traditions. Like, I would say, like, one of my top five days of the year. Tree cutting down there? Yeah. 
and this vlog will go play, but it doesn't really matter because you won't see this until later. So, <laughs> what do you, what do you care? <laughs> it's good, good to be home. home. You're so good. <laughs> we know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.